cashier at a grocery store, sometimes they're hire you on a salary basis, but hourly basis to avoid paying for your insurance because insurance premiums are very hard and employers don't feel they have the money or want to spend the money to pay insurance. And the premiums they haven't been going up because of Obamacare that was passed under President Obama. Now, government workers who are on federal insurance cannot relate to individuals on Obamacare because they have a very good insurance policy. Government workers, federal government workers have probably the best insurance policy, private or employee, based in the country except for those in U.S. Congress that have better, from what I understand. But for most ordinary people in the street uh, who are not in that situation, uh, insurance becomes a big issue. Because more and more employers are refusing to insure their employees by not hiring them on a full-time basis, but on an hourly basis. And so, no, thank you. So, uh, So, uh, so, so basically, um, we have the situation in District 8, but this is not the only area where we have this problem. Problem with Obamacare is national. Uh, and that is one of the reasons why President Trump became president in 2016. Because what the federal government employees and U.S. Congress people do not understand is that ordinary people are struggling with their health care. And the Affordable Care Act, ACA, sounds good on paper, but for those who have it, it's a nightmare. And so this one, uh, one lady that I asked, what do you think about Affordable Care, care Act, told me, I hate it. I said, what do you hate it? She said, I have one of the lowest plans because Affordable Care Act marketplace, you can purchase an insurance at different tiers. Lowest tiers have high deductible, high copay. High tier it has lower deductible, lower copay. Lower uh, tier uh, insurance premiums are about $500 a month for an individual. And premiums are, uh, deductibles are about 7,000 to 12,000 a year. What that means is, if you had to a procedure done, it's CAT scan, uh, blood work, you had to pay that out of pocket, write a check, up to $7,000 before your insurance start paying for it. So, you have to pay out of pocket for every procedure. So what this is creating is a problem where a uh, normal everyday person on Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, is refusing to go see a doctor because, yeah, three, co three visits per year limit, you only have to pay $30, but if you have to go for the fourth visit, you have to pay $200 for a doctor's visit out of pocket until you meet $7,000 copay. And if the doctor orders a CAT scan because you say you have a headache, because you hit your head against the wall, you have to pay hundreds of dollars, maybe thousands of dollars for the testing, out of pocket, because deductible is at $7,000. So there are now patients in Virginia, in District 8, as well as around the country, who are afraid to go see their doctor because they're afraid the doctor will order a test that they'll have to pay out of pocket for until they meet the $7,000 deductible per year that they have to pay under Obamacare, and they're paying $500 a month for 12 months, which is $6,000 a year. And they still have to pay up to $7,000 premium, which means their insurance healthcare cost of premium paying $6,000 plus $7,000 deductible $11,000 a year before they could see any coverage from insurance companies. Now, you can, you can bet the companies are making a lot of money out of this. They don't pay anything. They're collecting $6,000 from everyone. Right? They're not going to pay until you have
have paid seven thousand to twelve thousand dollars out of your pocket. So they're kept collecting six thousand from you. They don't have to pay anything for you. Now, so that's making a lot of insurance companies happy. Obamacare. It's, it's making them rich. And one of the reasons why Democrats want Obamacare to continue is because insurance companies are paying them off so that Obamacare can continue, so the insurance companies can keep raising their insurance premiums that they can collect and keep uh, raising uh, deductible rates so that uh, they don't have to pay for you. So insurance companies continue to make profit and the stock Orders are happy because they're making profits, while people who need insurance are suffering. And that is the reality of Affordable Care Act. And that's why it explains why President Donald Trump received the votes of Democrats in 2016 election. Because every Democrat has to pay insurance premiums. And they have to pay an out of pocket until their deductible of seven thousand to twelve thousand is met. And most Americans are working class Americans making thirty to forty thousand dollars a year. And so think about that. You're you're a family making thirty to forty, fifty thousand dollars a year. You have to pay insurance premium for the family that's gonna come out to like twelve thousand. And nothing's going to kick in until you pay off.